Hi everyone. So I'm here to teach you one new spelling rule. And uh, for that, I'm asking you a question that why the word car and the word carry has two different sounds of the same letter A. Letter A is giving two different sounds when I say the word car and the word carry. Can you, can you tell me why is it so? So this video I have made to um, give the answer to this question that in the word um, car, bossy R rule is there, which says that when the short vowel is changed by final R or by R followed by a different consonant, then it becomes R sound as in car, as in cart, as in carton as in carnation okay so when you have a followed by r and r is followed by a different consonant as in cart we can see t but if the next sound is a vowel it will capture the r sound and leave the a unchanged as in the word carry so what is happening c a double r y so because y is a partial vowel so it is actually capturing the r sound which leads to a sound in the word uh, the sound of letter a as the short vowel sound as in cat as in carry okay the same you can um, see in the word when i say daring paragraph barrel check it out write the spelling and check it out that if r is followed by r okay then it will uh, capture the r sound and leave the A sound unchanged, but the condition is that the second R should be followed by a vowel. I repeat, in the word car, in the word cart, in the word curtain, in the word carnation, what is happening? R is followed by any other consonant. Cart, or there is no uh, consonant like in car there is no consonant after all but in cart we have t as a as another consonant as in carton as in carnation so if r is followed by some other consonant or no consonant then it is bossy r rule which makes it r sound but if you have r followed by r or there is no r but a vowel Okay, so in the word daring, there is R and then vowel, but in the word carry, there's R followed by R and then a vowel because Y at the end is considered partial vowel. The same way you can see in the word barrel paragraph. So when you have R followed by vowel, R followed by R and then vowel, then A is the short A ah sound. But if R is not followed by any consonant or if it is followed by any other consonant except R, then it is a sound as in bossy rule. I hope it is clear. If not, you can go to my website where you'll find this um, in the text form. So you can save it and you can... Um, Note it down from there. Bye-bye. Thank you. I'll come with more of such spelling rules. And it will be an exciting journey to learn together. Bye-bye.